right, here we are doing uh, actually a show. This is the ending of what we call the submarine. And the girls have just vanished. There they go. And they reappear in the audience. This is one of those times when 360 is pretty freaking cool. So here you can take a look at rehearsal. It's the same trick. Uh, the next, uh, actually, so the day before, now we're doing technical rehearsals. And like everything, we spend a lot of time making sure it's safe. The equipment comes out on stage, it gets hooked up, and we test what's called the rigging. In other words, to make sure that it can go up and down. And this piece of equipment is pretty damn heavy. Ultimately, six girls are going to get into it, which makes it even heavier. And that means that rigging and safety and all of that becomes really job number one. You can see we're starting to test video. And at the same time while all this is going on, we're doing sound checks. So our sound operator is checking levels, sound levels. He's checking uh, speaker positioning throughout the, uh, the arena. So it's, it's really multitasking. So check this out, the submarine's in the air. And now it's going to blow up, and we will see that the girls inside have vanished. Although, I guess you didn't really get to see them go inside. Gotta take my word for it, they're in there. And on cue, it blows. Technician standing by if there's any sort of problem. And it's magic time. And then... Uh, in the actual routine of this illusion, the girls would reappear in the audience and come running back up. But right now, we don't care about that. We just gotta make sure that nothing blows up. By the way, if you scan around a little bit, you're gonna see just how much of nothing is going on in the rest of the arena. Finally, we add choreography. That's sort of the uh, icing on the cake. And then uh, bring everything together. And here we are, final dress rehearsals. Finally, you get to see the girls go into the sub. Maybe.